Alright guys, this video is going to cover how to log on to the Algebra Nation website and use those online videos to help you do section 11 during this break. So this is going to be really quick, just follow the login directions and then watch these videos throughout the next week or so. Alright, the first thing you need to do is go to your web browser, whatever it's going to be, and type in www.algebranation.com. And when you do that, you are going to see this window come up, or a window very similar to it. And right here at the bottom, I'll go ahead and zoom in on this, you can see where it says, Enter Algebra Nation. This is what you want to click on. And when you click this, a prompt comes up. And it allows you to use Algebra Nation through the App Store, or you can log in through Facebook, or if you have an Android app, you, you just have options. But if you're just using a computer, just click Enter Now. Otherwise, on your smartphone, you can use the, uh, the app, and that'll work just as good. Well, the first thing you're going to see is an intro video, and you are more than welcome to watch this. It's not a bad idea to do that. You can get a feel for some of the things on the website that I'm not going to be talking about. But basically, when you log in, just go to where it says your school, and I'll just zoom in on that so you can see. It says your school, just start typing in chain of lakes. And a drop down menu will show chain of lakes. Click enter, and then log in. The login is very simple. Your username is your student ID, which you just have and you already know it. And then the login information is your birthday in year, month, day format. So type that information in, log in, and it's going to ask you what benchmarks to use. And just so you know, you need to click MAFS. Do not click NGSSS. This is the next generation Sunshine State Standards. We did this last year. So if you happen to log in and you see that the NGSS, so I can zoom in on that some more. If you see that the NGSS is what is highlighted, you need to go over here and click MAFS. These are the benchmarks that we are preparing for. Well, once you click that, you're pretty much there. You have the intro video again, and then if you just scroll down, you can see all of the sections. And then right here at the bottom, it says Section 11, Quantitative Data in One Variable. If you click this, you see the drop-down menu with all of the videos. And if you go through the section in the workbook, the examples that they talk about in these videos sync up with what you have in the workbook. So basically, a lot of the problems are already done for you. You just have to watch the video to get it. And then the try it and beat the test problems are the ones that you do on your own. Again, you need to do this because this is a section that we are not going to spend a whole lot of time on because you are already familiar with a lot of it. So please, go through this section learn as much of it as you can. They even have an excellent test yourself practice tool that if you click on, it basically gives you a set of practice questions that you can use to test your understanding. So do all of this. And it even tells me who is logged in and who is not logged in. So please, I would like to see many of you logging in, practicing with Algebra Nation. Go ahead and just review some really easy material over the break. But alright guys, hope everyone's having fun, and I will see you when we get back. Maybe I'll try to make another video going over some of this material, but to be perfectly honest, the videos do a pretty good job as is. So, again, go to the drop-down menu, go to the videos, they walk you through how to do everything, and it goes hand-in-hand -hand with the book. Alright guys, have a good day.